Hello. Hi there. And welcome to our Texas Chainsaw Massacre reviews. Welcome slash back. Opinions. Yes. Now we're on the fifth movie in the franchise. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake from 2003 with Jessica Biel. Remake, reboot. Remake, reboot. It's more of a re- It's more of a solid remake because it's not like at all in canon. It's sort of a fresh remake. And you said it's its own timeline, right? It's its own timeline. Well, yes, it's a remake. So, this this and the film following it are its own separate timeline. Um, these are the only two movies. This and the one after are the only two in its timeline. And technically, this is a sequel to the prequel, which is the next one. So complicated, but right. it'll make more sense when we get into the next one. So basically, the next one's going to be the beginning. That is a prequel to this movie, and those are the only two movies in this timeline. So, to simplify it. And probably two of the best movies in my, the franchise. My two favorites, possibly. Well, my second favorite is t- tied between that one and the next one that we're going to talk about and the one after. But right off the bat, this is the best film in the franchise. Fight me. Truth. I mean, I, I know maybe some people think it's best. I mean, genuinely, I, I, I don't think I had seen all the Texas Chainsaw movies. I was kind of a, like... I was kind of bummed with the last few movies to an extent, especially the first couple. No offense. I mean, I know, like, the original's supposed to be a classic and really scary and whatever, but I, I just, I think the acting, the plot, the, the, the script, whatnot, the acting was better here. And it was, yes. it was a lot more intense. Um, I felt emotions in this movie, and I just think this one was just so powerful. I saw this movie in theaters. I know it's a little bit more like, I know this one's a little bit more like cinematic and like, like really dramatic and like it has a little bit of a higher budget kind of feel. But honestly, uh, uh, that aside, it's just a good movie. Watching this movie in theaters was absolutely phenomenal. It was Mm. pretty scary back then. I was five. (laughs) I won't say how old I was. But it was scary. You were so young. I was young, yeah. You're like my age. Yeah. No, I was like. You were in your teens. I was. You were like um, you were like yeah. But um, it was it was actually pretty scary, pretty creepy. It is kind of creepy. And rewatching it again it since I disturbing. haven't seen it for a while. Jessica Biel's acting was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Like, Scream Queen all the way. Like, she needs to star in another horror movie. Well, yeah. It's amazing because, I mean, I've seen so many Jessica Biel movies, but watching this one, this might be the, one of her first movies because she just looks so young in this movie. Yes. This was uh, Gosh, after Seventh was Heaven. Young. This was one of her first movies. She was in probably her late teens, early 20s when this movie. I she think was this young. was one of her first movies besides Blade. She was good in this movie, too. I mean, she really was. I mean, her acting, um, yeah, and seeing her be a badass bitch in the end was great. And that fucking cop. The cop who's in on it. It's sort of like the gas station guy in the original that's, like, in on it. He's part of the family. What's his name? Arlie Emery or something something like that? Well, yeah, and we do spoilers in our reviews. Just, if you didn't already know that, you're learning it. As we go along in these in these reviews with us, we yeah. tell spoilers. We don't hold any of that back. Yeah. Um. I. But yes. Um. What was I going to say about this? That we were talking about the cop. We're talking. About, well, you were talking about the cop. Yes. I was going to say something. But you can talk about the cop. I'm trying to think about what I was. But yeah, the cop in it. Um. He is a phenomenal actor. He was. An, he rest oh, he was an peace. asshole in this movie. He but was yes. an asshole in this movie. But though. he was good in it. <clears throat> And he comes back to the beginning. He's creepy in this movie. He's just a total creep in this yeah. movie. Um, but yeah, basically... In Talking this, about how he likes to wrap up honeys in, like, plastic. Yeah, in this one, they... A basically of, dead, because of the dead girl, but... They, oh, yeah, pick, they, pick, they pick up a hitchhiker at the beginning of the movie, like the, like the original. Well, right but, off, it starts, it, starts with a, it starts with the nerd title... I, I do have to add real quick before we talk about that. This one has a nerd opening. All the all these have openings, but this one I think has the most memorable opening to me because this one actually shows footage, and you feel like you're yes. watching like a real crime documentary type thing when you're watching it because they show like 
video footage because this is supposed to be in the modern day 2003 looking back at the events of 1973 yeah um which technically i did find out actually the original movie is also supposed to be said in 1973 even though it was made in 74 but anyhow um yeah you feel like you're watching an actual crime opening documentary in the beginning and then it just makes it like the case file so it's really creepy and then they jump sorry and you were going to talk about how this movie actually starts after the opening credits yeah um but yeah they pick up this hitchhiker well she's not really a hitchhiker she's like well they're they're, they're going they're, they're going they're going like on a on a drive they're going on like some sort of like road trip and they pick up a hitchhiker and different than the original and it's a girl and she's just stranded in the road She's trying to throw it, and she's scared, and she's, she pulls, she pulls, if I remember right, she pulls a gun from her vagina. But we're not, we're not there yet. She, she, she's just on the road, and they come up to her, and then, and then she's like, she's, she's like, like I just want to go her. home. She's like, help me, I want to go home, oh, and she's, yeah. and she's really sad. She's really scared, and they, and they, they're like, oh, we'll help you get home, whatever. So they take her in the car, and she's like. I just want to go home and they're like and she's like you're going the wrong way you're going the wrong way i don't want to go back there and they're like what and so she tries to turn the van around and they're like what are you doing so she pulls out a gun because she's going back to the house and she's afraid we don't we don't know what's going on yet takes a gun and blows her brains out blows her brains out and they show in front of them and let alone they they don't just show the gunshot they show the the like going through her mouth the and back the, of the because it goes because it goes the camera goes through her mouth where she shot the gun through her head through the bullet hole in the black back of the window, and it is one of the most crazy shots. They do it twice, um, and it's just one of the most I don't know epic shots and like the 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 ringing sounds of them screaming and stuff and the reactions um, sets the tone of this movie just yes. be super grisly and like really menacing. But yes, and then of course they they're like reporting the dead bodies. They go to the patrol station, like in the original one. They go they go to that the gas station. They try to call the cops. They're like, oh well, the cat the cop is at this old mill. He's not gonna come down here for a while. And they're like, well, we have to see him now. We're not gonna drive in the back of the car. And Blaze like, you whatever you do is none of my business. Basically, it's not your business. So they're like they're like okay whatever. So they're stranded. So they drive to the old mill and said things happen they discover some really weird stuff a little kid who's stranded and lures them into the house but also is sort of like the, the kind of like takes the fall for the family i feel like kind of like he takes all the abuse so like he's just sort of stranded looks like helpless so they're like what do we do and then they end up chasing him to the the house where all the the horror happens yeah, the family and Leatherface. Yes, the Hewitt family, Liz. not the not the in this in this timeline in these two movies, it's the Hewitt family, Hewitt not family. not the Sawyer family. And then, well, I think it's also the oh no, it's the Sawyer it goes back to the Sawyer family in three D. That's a that's a different that goes back to the original timeline. That goes back to the original. That's timeline. that's Sawyer I'm again. Sorry. I'm sorry, wrong timeline. What you doing throwing people off? Right. Should we do a part two? Actually, this one I think deserves a part two. Yeah, we'll do a part two. With this. this is part one of part two. We're going to do two parts for this one because this one's really... This one has a lot. I feel like this one... This one has a lot to well, talk about. Well, well, we just like it so much. Yeah. It's such a good movie. I just... I mean, I have so much to say about this movie because I enjoyed it so much. And that's the first part of And this. it's so underrated for what it is, too. Like, it doesn't... It nearly the high scores that the original one does, I, which is baffling to me. The only thing I can maybe I know, imagine it'll, is... It only has a 6.2 on IMDb. Well, my only guess for this is because the original came out when it did, and it was shot in a very grainy camera footage style to make it feel, like, very raw. And I think this one feels a little bit more Hollywood glamorized and kind of, like, higher budget, kind of. Maybe. So that's the only guess why I can see, but I feel like this is just the better one, in my own opinion. I'm not... And this is coming from someone who's not a Texas Chainsaw person at all. I just, I just think this is the better movie. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Leatherface movies usually, but this one is just a great horror movie. If you don't even like the Texas Chainsaw movies, this one's just awesome. Yeah. I think. Let's go on to part two. Yes. Let's. Yes. yes. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 